This is why is a random variable uniformly distributed on 0 to 2. The value of cumulative distribution function of random variable x is equal to e to the power y when x belongs to 1 to e square is. So y is uniformly distributed. x belongs from 1 to e square. My aim is to find CDF of the variable x where this variable x is e to the power y this is the cdf that i want to find out that means whenever you have to find out cdf you want the probability that this is less than equal to some number we take that number as x small x so we want capital x is less than equal to some number which is small x now, capital X is given to me as e to the power y. So, I say probability e to the power y is less than or equal to small x. Now, this is very important that some people get confused that you can, please write this down, you can take log inside the probability density function also. That means inside PDF also inside probability also. So what I have done is inside this, only while solving this part, I have taken log on both sides. So this will become ln e to the power y, which means y ln e. And this will become ln x. So I will get y ln e less than or equal to ln x. ln e is 1. Uh, so I will get y less than or equal to ln x. Now, I know that y is uniformly distributed. So how do we, so if, if y is uniformly distributed, then how do we find the CDF of y? It is whatever it is, the you know, whatever upper limit is there. So upper limit minus a upon b minus a. This is how we find it. This y is this this value. So I will get ln x. It is uniformly distributed between 0 to 2 upon 2 upon 2 minus 0. So this will simply be ln x by 2. So here I have gone ahead and simply used the property of a uniform distribution that when x was uniformly distributed and I had to find this, it was simply x minus a upon b minus a. Here, y is uniformly distributed between 0 to 2. So I know a and I know b. And instead of y, uh, here, you know, this, this is this part, ln x. So I've just used that here. Right? So this becomes ln x by 2, which means 2 to the power minus 1 ln x. So my answer to this question will be a, 2 to the power minus 1 ln x. Very, very simple question. You just have to do a little transformation here. This is what is important in this question to understand.